Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We are back again, and look, we did it. We finally beat Mother, we beat Witness, and we unlocked Jacob and he's out. Honestly, very hard fought. It took us quite a long time. It took us many runs, probably much longer than a few of the other YouTubers you guys might be watching, but... I did it, and I'm proud, and I'm happy. We're going to jump in as Jacob and Izao and try out this wacky, wacky character combo. For those of you that don't know, Jacob and Izao is two characters that you play at once. You play them both. You can move them separately by holding control. And, yeah, it's strange. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, he move uh, bomb. If we bomb, we both plant a bomb. We only require one bomb to do so, though. Hold control to move. Uh, Q to use one active item, space to use the other. Very strange stuff going on here. It makes it twice as easy to get hit, but you do have the potential to output a bit more damage. I wouldn't say a lot because you do still have to share your items. And by the way, probably won't be taking the alt path this time, as you can probably imagine. But yes, you don't... It's not like both characters get both items. You have to give the item to one character and the other one doesn't get it. Ooh, Brainworm's fantastic. Uh... Oh god, our stats. <laughs> Look at our stats. Um, does either one of these have higher damage? It's hard to tell who's who, to be honest. It seems like Izao has the higher damage and he's got the brainworm, so that works out. Izao can also take this. There you go. Yeah, we, we probably won't be going too much alt path, but you can, at least from what I remember, do some pretty interesting stuff with the alt path. Uh, where you can uh, get extra items. I wonder if that still works. I'm not 100% sure if it will. But in uh, in anti bird there was a way that you could kind of abuse it to get extra items. Common Cold here is going to be pretty good, considering it seems like the damage from Poison has been increased since uh, I last played. So I'm definitely looking forward to having that. Uh, I am going to bomb here. As you can see, the double bomb plant. The double bomb plant, which is actually interesting. You can do some really cool stuff where you, like, move the characters apart, then plant the bomb. I do wish there was an easier way to regroup them, though. But I, I guess you don't really want to be moving them apart from each other when you're actually on a boss fight. That would, or, like, in a room with any combat. That seems like it'd be a bad idea. Let's keep going. See what we can do. So excited to be playing these characters. They look so good. And, I mean, as you guys probably have seen thus far, I've been gushing. A lot about how much I, I I love everything new and just how hyped I am to see all this new stuff. I'm sure you guys have uh, have gotten quite used to that now, but I'm probably going to be gushing about Jacob and Izao too because these are characters that I think they're definitely a good challenge character. They've got a bit of difficulty to them, but I really wasn't expecting them to end up coming to um, to Isaac. I really I thought in Repentance they end up changing them um, or like making them different, doing sort of a a more um, forgotten style character. And thinking about it now, Edmund said in a lot of the interviews that when he when he worked with Kilburn on the booster packs, it was kind of a tester to see if Kilburn was ready to work on Repentance. And this, that must have been, Forgotten must have been a test for, for him to see if he could make a co-op style character where you play two characters at once technically. It must have been a test to see if he could make that work. Uh, so pills here. Um, how do we take pills? Because, hmm, one minute, I've got to go have a look. Because in anti-birth, pills and cards were automatically used on pickup. So, how exactly do we use them? Oh, okay. Aha, uh -huh. so, we go, there we go, that's kind of interesting. Um, let's just drop that real quick. Drop that real quick, you can pick that up again. Then, I think you pick that up. Then we go verp. Whoops, whoopsie. This is kind of difficult. So you hold control and then press Q. And that verps up a tears up pill. Uh, of which we'll take as well. Awesome. This is some cool stuff. It's, it's definitely interesting that they've made, made a way so that you can actually take your pills and stuff. Before you couldn't really. So now we'll do that. And then go Q. I mean... Fair enough. <laughs> also, now we've got little brother. Uh, yeah, that's kind of fair considering um, I just got two tiers up. Of course, I had to get one tiers down. The game doesn't the, ga the game doesn't work on the way of being kind to me. As you can see as well, Izao actually does have lower health, so we're gonna have to be careful about that. But I'm so excited to be playing these two. Such a fun idea for a character, and yeah, I'm truly hyped to be playing as them finally. 
It's been a long road. As you guys have watched, I have been having the hardest time getting to uh, <laughs> getting to the getting to mother and actually killing her. But we finally did it. Also, Brainworm. Can we talk about how good Brainworm is? It's doing a fantastic job of redirecting our tears that are missed and especially getting that extra poison damage too. One thing I don't know is if both if two characters can be hit at once by like an explosion. That is a judgment card, Judge. so we'll use that. Uh, we don't need that yet, but we, it's there. That was close. Yeah, the poison redirecting tears here. Oh, I love them. I love them. Look how cool this is. And then again, all the little blood spurts coming from those guys' heads. Oh my god. I'm in love. I'm in love. I don't even know what the fuck's gonna happen here, but you gotta take it, right? Brainworm plus Luda. Yes. Oh, this is bizarre. <laughs> this is strange. It seems that brain it seems that brainworm doesn't work. We lost our deal with the devil chance, but that's kind of to be expected. We're working out some funky stuff. So let's do this. And let you take that now. So now we have brainworm on the one that doesn't have Luda. So that he can still hit stuff. When we're using Luda. That kind of works out for us, right? This is strange. This is so very strange. Why did we do this? Why did we create this this hell? Hey, little horn, how you doing? It's weird how like even just some simple things like the boss uh, title intro are now so normal to me and in, in how they look. It feels like they look like that the whole time because they feel like they really should have looked like that the whole time. It's crazy how you don't notice how certain things really don't have that much polish to them, and then um, they get that polish later on. And you're like, oh damn, this could have looked so much better for so long, and now it does. How much we missed. Uh, it doesn't really matter who we get the range on, so I'll take it for you. Uh, yeah, we will, we will go down, and we will die. Let's try it out, though. Luda! Luda's bizarre on these two. Why do we have to get an item that essentially completely separates how we play each character? Of course. Of course we'd have to, wouldn't we? We definitely need to get some HP for Izao. He's, uh, he's not looking so healthy right now. Mr. Stark, I don't feel too good sort of thing. Okay. We definitely need shot speed as well. That would be great. So. Um. Yay, it still works. Yes. Death Scythe looking awesome here. It still works. Oh my god, this is scary. This is scary. Oh, I still got hit. Oh, and I got hit on his out as well. Okay, you've got that good. Remembering how to do what on each character is going to be just a mess. <laughs> just a mess. We're not going for knife. We're not even going to attempt that. That that That's business we do not want to get down with. Oh no, these guys coming in hot. Oh my god, this is mental. This is mental. But I love it. We need to go to our shop, really, before we go for our boss. Because I need a soul heart, and I need it badly. Oh my god. I'm whipping things all over the place. Key, thank you. Ugh, that's not a soul heart. That's not what we need at all. So, I think I need to do Q for this guy when I get in here. Yeah. I, I need... To, like, I, I wasn't going to just use it, but I need to just use it. I didn't want to do that, but I felt like I had to. There we go. We got through this. Bigger tears for, um, for you. Yeah. It didn't even increase the size. Are you kidding me? Did I take it on the wrong person, maybe? No, I didn't. Hmm. It ain't any bigger. That ain't it, chief. <laughs> I love the fact that that Jacob and Izao trick still works with the items. I'm so hyped about that. Oh my god. That's so cool. We have a very bizarre run on our hands right now. I will say. Oh, this is this is the room we, we go to die in. Oh, no. We're gonna die. 
Don't do it. No, spider. I've not got the shot speed. Oh, we, we got we got split up as well. I didn't even realize. Oh, this is... This is some stress right here. This is some stress right here. You lot go. Oh, yeah. Shot speed is bad. It's so very bad. Just give us a soul heart and everything will be okay. Ah, hello. Small pin. Wasn't expecting you at this hour. I said soul heart. Fuck me. Okay, we left a, a, red, fla a red fire down there. Leave another one up there for them guys. That actually did a pretty good job of killing those dudes. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, nice. That was a good one too. No, we're separated again. Ah, I need my mama. I need an adult. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm loving this Ludo Death Scythe though. It's 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 wacky. It's very wacky, and I love wacky. I'm all about the wacky. Oh, he got stuck. No. You shitbag. I keep not noticing because he's small. If I'm getting stuck or not. I don't know. Does, I'm guessing speed balances between the two. It'd be crazy if it didn't. Oh. Oh, he almost hit me. He almost hit me. It's weird how these guys never, like, show up next to you. They always show up really far away. Where you at, fella? Just pop up somewhere we can actually get you. Oh my god. We're getting so separated. Dude, where are you? I genuinely can't find you. We're so dead. I can't do this. My brain. <laughs> my poor brain. Oh my god. Having to do unlocks as these two is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> God damn, doing the witnesses these guys is going to be really hard. Really, really hard. Card. Let's go. Not a card we wanted. I mean, it, it was put us right next to where we were, so I'm not going to complain. Nice. At least we can just chill with Ludo in the corner. Um, take that. Ghost Pepper plus Ludo. I heard it. Ooh. I just say I heard it synergizes now. It totally does. That's amazing. We're still one hit off death, though. Still a big problem in that regard. We are still very much about to die. Dude, stop getting stuck. You stupid small boy. God damn it. Stop it, small fella. Take the pill. Gulp. Gulp doesn't really help. Right. Whatever boss this is, it will definitely kill us. It's Mega Maw. Yep, it killed us. <laughs> I knew it. Let's go again. Oh my god, I'm excited. This is... Ludo was definitely a bad choice. For some reason, somewhere in my brain, I was like, of course Ludo will work for both characters. Why wouldn't it? It's like, no. No, it won't. The game's not that kind. <gasps> Ooh. Take it on you. I like Ease Out better. Ease Out, my pal. Ease Out. Oh, we're fighting the boss. <laughs> Ease Out is my pal. Now, he does more damage, so Cricket's body's definitely the right choice on him. Getting pushed around by, like, rocks and stuff is, like, the, the worst thing. When you you can't quite predict where you're going to end up be, uh, like, your characters are going to line up together sort of thing. It's the worst. Oh, my God. Of course, it had to hit Izao as well, didn't it? Right. Izao. Take that. Yeah. Good. Isaac. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of guacamole. Bit of HP there as well. Oh, we don't even need it now. 
Ha ha! Good stuff. I love the way red fires look now as well. Red fires are looking a lot better. Oh, almost walked into that. Just looking for a bomb to try and get that tinted rock open that we found. Watch battery? I'll take it. Few, uh, more batteries? I was going to say fewer batteries. That would be a terrible trinket. Hey, do I trinket that gives you less stuff? Noise. <laughs> if you trade it for other stuff, then oh, I, I, I'll take it, but I don't think it does. <laughs> Down we go. But yes, being able to take the double item rooms, definitely risky now that one of them's always unknown, but still very fun. And and I, I just... Originally, when they when Antibeth... Because if you didn't know, in Antibeth, on the alt path, there was two items as well. One of them wasn't hidden. They were, you could see them both, and you could pick between them. But Jacob and Egzal could grab both uh, by doing the trick that I showed. And it was actually a bug, but people liked it so much and thought it was a reward for playing this character on the alt path that they were like, yeah, we'll just keep it in because people really seem to like it. Which I love. I, I, I always love it when, uh, when like, bugs or unintended consequences of features end up happening and the community is just like, yeah, well, we want this. It's like that happened in Call of Duty Warzone. I play Warzone quite a lot. I know that not a lot, not many people on this channel are going to care too much about that game. But the there was this bug where you'd pick up this thing called an armor satchel, which let you carry more armor. And originally, it just increased your armor capacity uh, by a little bit from... Um, ooh, that was nice. It cr increased your armor capacity by a little bit from 5 to 8. That was it. Um, wait a minute. Let's uh, let's do this. That was a that was just a terrible idea. I I I was like, wait a minute. I've got to move away from this now. So speed, yeah. Speed is speed is always joined between them. I thought it was. Um, but yeah. And, and then like when they added it in, it was bugged where it would always give you eight plates when you picked it up. Eight, eight armor. It always give you eight just automatically, no matter how much you had already. And it was definitely a bug, and they just left it in because everyone was like, yeah, this is great. Keep it. <laughs> um, I'd rather go to my item room now. Oh, what do we get here? What the hell is this? Giant cell. Ooh, damn. We've got a bunch of little baby Isaacs on the back of our heads. Interesting. Uh, giant cell. Killing things spawns babies. No, we had that already. That's a different item. That's not that. That's not this item. Uh, n nothing to do with killing things. Maybe room clear. Maybe boss killing. Maybe getting hit. There's quite a few different things it could be, to be honest. I'm sure we'll find out soon, especially if it's getting hit. Oh, there you go. Yep, we got hit. Oh, it's a little baby. Look at the little babski. Look at him go. <laughs> it's a midgy little Isaac. Oh, he's so cute. Come on, little fella. Let's take you home. Oh, look at him go with his wee little leggies. His little leggies. They're moving so fast. He doesn't seem to do anything, though. Like, does he attack? He doesn't attack. Does he protect? I'm guessing he protect if he does not attack. Extra of this. Nice. Deal with a devil. Um, Let's split these evenly, shall we? Boom and boom. And let's just leave. Okay, let's go to our shop because we've got plenty of money. I don't know what my little Bebski does, but I love him. So very dearly. Jacob, Izao, and their child. They're a gay power couple. Now, I'm not going to say that. They're actually brothers, so that's weird. But <laughs> just imagine they're not. And they've got a little child. Look at them go. Look at them go. Right. Down we go. We're not taking alt path. I went to the shop instead. And it was terrible. Oh well. I don't really, really want to go to the alt path too much with these guys anyways. Because as we saw, we get kind of wrecked on the alt path. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jacob's like, brother, may I have some tier upgrades? And I was like, no. It's my turn. My turn for the tier upgrades. But, but it's always your turn for the tier upgrades, brother. Shush. You keep quiet. You keep quiet now. You. That was close. <laughs> that was closer than close. Oh my god, that was a difficult room. Thirty coinies though. Thirty coinies. I like thirty coinies. You stay away, Mr. Larry. 
We're actually doing okay as these guys right now, which is great. If we could kill Mum's heart, I think that gets us an unlock. So let's try and aim for that. Even if we are doing it the Bebby route. But we do now have our new Bebby. I really want to know what they do. Like, do they, are they just visual? <laughs> um, Probably want it on you, right? Shop time. What you got for me? That's pretty good, both of those. I'll take. Very, very happy. He's like, you can have this item, brother. Like, but this item helps us both. He's like, shush. To your corner, boy. I have the tier upgrades. I have the damage. I have the power. This is definitely a room that I want to do with just one. Yeah, Abebski died. Okay, we're going to keep ending up dropping our trinkets. Oh my god, this is tough. Good to go. Took a little bit of damage. We need one, one brother to be the front man that takes all the damage. Right, let's keep going. We have not seen our item room yet, and we do have a key to get to it, so very much like to find that. Big room down here. Look at the big room. I very much like the look of the big room. Oh, it's the poopy rooms. It's weird with being on the alt floor so much and like, honestly, they, they've done a good job of polishing some of the floors that already existed. I mean, ones like this already looked really good anyways, but it's so weird coming from them now because the turn is so different. Didn't know who I took that on. That actually worked out though. The turn is so different on them. So this works out for us because we can now do the double brother tactic. Uh, I think we want it this way around. Yes, we did it. And we got the tail. The demon's tail. Damn it, no bomb. Sheet. Okay. We're getting okay health, though. Like, we're getting spirit hearts, which is, for hard mode, kind of crazy. <laughs> but yeah, like, the turn's so different. This, like, it, I mean, I, it might just be because this is very, um, like, familiar. But it just, this feels so much more chilled out. And the other players like, holy shit, everything's going on all at once, all the time. Oh, look at Gerdy here. Looking good. Looking good. Looking very spick and span. I love all these boss free sprites. They've done such a fantastic job with them. Really big props to uh, Not Your Sagittarius. Uh, deal with the Devil. Bar of Soap. We probably want that on you. Yeah, tears plus shot speed is really good. Uh, then we go in here. And do you know what? Yes, you can have that. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll just stick with that. And we're going down. We're not going alt path at all with these boys. We just want an unlock. If we can get an unlock, I'd be super happy. You just got to keep the HP coming, game. Oh, I, I love this. This is such a fun idea for a character. They did such a good job of implementing it in it, anti -Beth, And they've really brought it back to life in this. Which I, I was I had no doubt about. I mean, it's Vin ma making it who made anti -Beth, so... I had no doubt about that, but it's still great to see. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get separated here. There we go. That's that's give us some space to move. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh we'll take that, why not? Can we grab this in any way? No, we can't. Right. Damn, we did we did lose our uh, our black heart there. That's not good. Got you two. I think Mr. Boom did get an upgrade here. So let's plant him down there. Yeah, he's got a, bl a bigger blast radius, as you just saw. That's a lot bigger than normal. Just a reusable bomb. It's rather nice. Um, big blast radius. Being able to bomb stuff when we don't have bombs. Considering especially now while we actually don't have bombs. It's going to be kind of nice. Wow, that guy, that guy moved at the speed of sound then. He broke the sound barrier. 
Oh, I have to say as well, I didn't even mention it when it when I got it, but Cricket's body is so good. It's such a fun item. Okay, um, I think we still need to take it on his on his out because he's not got regenerable regeneratable HP at the minute. So feels a bit more useful. Oh my god, my Bebski's back. At least we know who's got hit now because we'll spawn a, a little a little baby whenever we get hit as uh, Jacob. Now, this is a room. Um, I have to say, I do not like this at all. <laughs> Feels a little bit evil. Okay, we got it. That is an evil room. Pick up our trinkets again. That's the one annoying thing when we're, when we're switching characters. We're going to have to keep dropping and picking up our trinkets. But that's not a huge issue, is it? It's only a minor issue. Oh, you're, you're there too. Oh, again, I just love the way the gapers look now. Where they do that little lean forward. It just... It makes them look so much more aggro. Rather than like lazily uh, humdrumming around. They actually look like the, the... Like, let's get him. Let's get him. I love that. Such a good addition. Just the small, tiny, little insignificant or seemingly insignificant details make the game just feel so complete. So complete. Right, where's our shop? We've not seen our shop yet, have we? Or our item room, for that fact. Wait a minute, I just realized something amazing. We got uh, more options, which is means we're always going to get doubled item rooms. Always. Which means on Jacob and Ezao, it's like a god-tier item. Edmund, can you fucking not, please? Okay. Really don't want to die on this run, so please don't. Please don't do anything mean to me, Edmund. Also, in Infestation 2 here, all oh, these vizzes, I just realized. These new vizzes look so good. They look so good. Infestation 2 is going to be super useful here. Oh, it's Bombino! It's Bombino! Whoa! I don't know how this guy works at all. We're probably going to die to him. He charges a lot. He knocks us about, which is terrible for us because it unpositions us. Oh, my God. Bombino, he's having a little paddy attack. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Okay. We really, really need a key so let's try our best to get one i don't like going through that room <laughs> that room definitely scares me uh let's go back to our arcade room and see if we can um see if we can do some stuff in there to get some hp and stuff so we got a blood bank in there that we can bomb so i think what we do is we go bomb both of those run away we got a black heart so that goes to you and then we uh, play this. Extra money. Oh, we got two keys as well, which means we can go to our shop now. Yeah, let's just go to our shop. What are we doing? Why would we do this when we could just buy hearts in our shop? Or items in our shop, for that matter. Right, just careful of that trap room again. It's this double chest room coming up here. It's a pretty easy trap room, to be honest. We just got to follow the spikes. It's just, you got to follow them with a pretty correct timing. Otherwise, they can hit you. Jump in here. <laughs> so good. Um, you grab that. And zip shot. Ooh, that could be really good on you. Let's try it out. Yep, that's really good on you. Awesome. Okay, little bit risky on the HP side of things, I've got to say. But we're heading down to the next floor. Seeing how things turn out. We got to see Bombino. <laughs> that's so cool. What an interesting boss. I completely forgot that he existed, to be honest. I'm super glad that we got to see him. What the hell is this new door? That wasn't there before. We did get an achievement called, like, What's This or something with a picture of a door in it. So I'm going to assume it's something to do with that after we killed uh, Mum for the first time. Mother, should I say, not Mum. 
That's interesting. That is intriguing indeed. Magician. Kind of nice nut tinted rocks. There's some health. And boom, you grab that. The magician. Whoopsie. Accidentally activated the magician in the wrong room there. Oh well. Makes the room kind of purpley when you do that as well. It's kind of cool. Oh my god. I I'm just realizing I'm is this the first time I've been to Dank Depths or am I just not remembering? But either way, Dank Depths. Holy shit, it looks good. Oh, what the hell? That guy jumps. That man, he jumps. Ow. What in the... What in the what? Hmm. No, poison was last run, wasn't it? Poison was last run. So status effects lasting longer doesn't matter. Fork? Isaac's Fork. What does Isaac's Fork do again? Uh, Platinum God. I think it's like when we fin can finish a boss, we get healing. Fork. Fork. It doesn't seem to be appearing. Just go... It's, it's in Rebirth, isn't it? Uh, items. Trinkets. Is it Rebirth? I thought Isaac's Fork was Rebirth. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, after clearing a room, you have a chance to heal for half a heart. Okay, so definitely, definitely you want that, don't you? That makes most sense to me. Makes most sense to me. But, oh, this is this is a spicy little run we got going now. Just gotta be careful. Health is, health is very precious. Upon clearing a room, getting a um, getting a heal is very good. Oh, that was bad. But we got Gimpy, so we came back. We came back from it, okay. You just got to keep an eye on who it is that gets hit as well. Okay, these guys aren't the guys that jump their brain out of their head. I keep thinking it is now that I've been to the mausoleum a lot. Ah, oh, babies do seem to be going after things now. They seem to be attacking. Oh, this shot speed thing is amazing, by the way. Also, we have... Was it Cone Head that means we can pick up two trinkets? I'm not sure. Okay, these guys can do that thing where they pop up beneath us, can't they, sir? So watch out for that. we got enough keys. Let's just pop in here. Another trinket slot would be very good. So I'd like to get that. Karma? What does Karma do? Oh, Karma's the donation machine thing, isn't it? Doesn't matter. I remember what that does now. It's not very useful for us. We want something that's actually going to be, like, effective. So far, we've got some pretty effective trinkets, I'd say. We've not seen Isaac Fork proc yet, but we will. We will. Uh, we're still missing our item room, so let's keep exploring. I'm, uh, even just things like the small things, like all this, like, oily bits near the wall, the little puddles, the new rocks, the new, like, foggy atmosphere... Oh, this floor just feels so brand new and beautiful. Uh, we should do this. Like, why the hell wouldn't we? There we go. We got the money for it already, so we can hold another trinket now. Don't steal my active charge that I don't have. Please don't do it. <laughs> How could you? How could you steal my non-existent active charge? But yeah, like this like zip shot, shot speed thing doubled from mum's box. Just means that we are shooting tears fucking everywhere. Awesome. They are just going all over the place. Okay, these globin dudes should be okay. They do spawn spiders when they, uh, when they die, so we've got to be watching out for that. Uh, justice? Justice, that's Q, yeah. Nice. And we got the healing there as well. Beautiful. Justice card is great for us right now. Nice, nice. Keep on pushing forward. Get to that item room. It's a bomb beggar. I really don't think we need a bomb beggar. Uh, Gimpy paid out there, I think. Um, let's queue. Hmm. That's an interesting one. That could be good, right? Right. 
Okay. These brimstone boys, a little bit difficult. Ooh, we got more healing from Isaac's fork there. This is an XL floor as well, so we do have two item rooms. Let's see. I was thinking, is this an XL floor? Then I look over. Now that we've got this little curse thing that has the little XL right there. Great. Um, that's not very good, Bob's bladder. These guys have a lot less HP now as well, by the way. They, they fixed that. Charging your uh, active item as soon as you enter a room really isn't that good for us right now. Speaking of it, though, let's grab it. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Right. I've messed all this up. So you take that. You take that. And you take that. Then you take that. <laughs> Oh, that was kind of annoying, but we, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> the little swapsies. No, not again. There we go. Leave the watch battery on the floor. I'm just thinking if we get a better active item, bringing the hairpin that lets us charge our active item upon entering a boss room seems like it could be pretty valuable. Oh, these guys look so good. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gushing again, people. I don't know if people like it or not. <laughs> I think from the first comments, episode comments, I'm pretty sure they do. By the way, I'm recording this right now, and only one episode has gone out thus far. Like, that's how far, that's how many episodes I am recording. Like, that, just so you know. It's kind of crazy. Holy cross. Two of clubs, um, yeah. Holy cross is probably better for us than the hairpin. Gives us that holy mantle until we get hit each floor. Have we still seriously not seen either of the item rooms on an XL floor? Yeah, I don't know how to access that door. It doesn't seem to be opening. Maybe once I've beaten everything in the floor, it'll open. Or maybe the boss, but this is mum floor, isn't it? it means, well, yeah, because it's, it's XL. So, that means we probably need a teleporter card? If that's the case, I mean, it might just open when we finish the floor. Either that or it's like, you need a specific item. I heard someone opened it with the sharp key, um, which is a new item, but I don't know if that's the intended way to open it. I think that's just like w when you get uh, dad's co uh, dad's key and you can open up doors that you're not supposed to be able to. Ooh, the sound of those opening is very nice. And shutting as well. I like it a lot. We managed to build a, a particularly good run here as well, I will say. Oh, Holy Mantle's gone. Still, it saved us though. Saved us some damage. Ooh, it's these dudes. Haven't seen these dudes yet. They look very cool. Very cool indeed. A hey, troll bombs. Thank you. And spawn as one. Petrified poop. We're really just looking for like stat changing trinkets that give us double the stat that they normally would. Like the shot speed one. Okay, watch out for these. We can kind of shoot anywhere and, and hit across the entire room, so we're just kind of doing exactly that and hoping for the best. I've never realized how much the brainworm trinket looks like these brains. It looks exactly the same, because they kind of are brainworms, really, aren't they? We just have one as a trinket. It's like, a, it's like a little pet in our pocket. Right, Libra. Hmm... I think we take Libra because it's going to be a massive stat up because of these, um, the zip. And then we take Black Hole on you. Yeah, Libra should be a huge stat upgrade. Um, yeah, massive shot speed down. Damage down? Well, that's depressing as fuck. I am... I am so hugely depressed. I thought that was going to be a massive stat up because it was going to take from... Wait a minute. So, if I drop this now... It doesn't affect it. This is some bull honky. <laughs> Libra doesn't, doesn't care about trinket stats. That's a bit sad. That's a little bit upsetting. I really thought it did. Maybe that's a change they made. Possibly. I thought it did. And maybe that is a change they made. D6 is definitely something we want here, so let's uh, grab that. Yeah, D6, and then Space Barter. <gasps> we definitely want that on Izao. 
Now I'm even more upset though, because this is now an even better run. It would have been better if we had didn't take Libra. God damn it. God damn you, Libra. Why you do this to me? This is still a cool run though. I'm still happy to have this. Right, so we cleared the entire floor by the boss room. This door still isn't open. Juicy sack here, being a buddy. Damn, this should be pretty good though. We just need to be make sure we stay alive. Like our health is pretty precious right now. So Ezao wants to take the extra trinket room. Good, good. Up oh, and we'll take that, I guess, because that's an evil up. The second trinket anyway, so I'll take it. Yeah, damn it, Libra. Why don't you work the way I thought you did? Okay, so we have Monstro 2 for our first boss. Ooh, that was stupid of me. That, that was an obvious, an obvious getting hit there. I am getting hit more than I should be by Monstro 2. I should be firing a lot faster than this, but Libra done stole my tier rate. Libra done stole my stats. Caffeine pill. Doesn't matter who takes this. It, oh, that's good. That's a massive speed up, which gives us fire rate up and everything. Okay, I'm happy about that. It's mom's foot. It's blue mum as well, so more spawns, less foot. Which more spawns is good for us, because tech zero is going to be really good against uh, enemies rather than the boss. Anything small, tech zero is going to be really good against. And also it means more blue spiders, which means more damage to mum. Oh god, it's weird not fighting the the, uh, the the new mum for the witness fight. Oh, mum's foot having contact damage now is weirding me out. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. We got all disjointed. No, we got all disjointed. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. No, stop. We got all thrown out of whack there. That's not fair. We were not lined up. Can we do this? Now I wonder. Oh, we can! Awesome! Chocolate bar. <laughs> right, let's go. Oh, health isn't good. I'll say that. Also, we we, di we didn't find out what's up with that door. It's something that we've got to figure out. I, I'm thinking, based on the way that people used to abuse Boss Rush by teleporting out of the fight, and getting back, that's got to be it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know if 100%. Grab that, grab that. Good health. Ah, holy man, although saved the day. And to sneeze or moment. Oh, I love the fact that uh, OBS has a pause feature now. If you don't have to hear me do a gargantuan sneeze. <laughs> oh, amazing. So we can take one on you. And then you can take that. Great stuff. Are we playing on easy by accident? Because we are getting health so much more than usual. I say that as I immediately take damage. <laughs> no, that room can uh, that room can can shove it. This room can shove it too. This room's also tough, but we got it. Right, first boss. We got Loki. It's the split Loki. Oh my god, split Loki looks so much more like gruesome because he has organs and everything. That's great. That is great. I love the sound of the tech zero now. It's, it might some some people might find it a bit a bit jarring, a bit annoying, but I actually really like it. It sounds really good. Crazy how we've done like equally even damage to both them. Then okay, so I think we take that on you, and wait, you've got one, two, three, four, five and a half, and you got five. So I think we take that on you then. Then I think we, I think we risk it all. And we go 
with this. We risk it all. Because basically all I'm looking for right now is a mum's heart kill. <laughs> if I can get that, I'll be happy. But having piercing and herming seems like a dream come true. Also, look at how good this floor looks. Yeah, okay, this was definitely a good choice. The mum fight is going to be spicy, I'll admit. The mum fight is going to be spicy. Right, beautiful. I actually think we go and drop our trinkets here. One minute. And then go... You take that. And then you take that, and that, and then you can take that. Now we have the uh, now we have the holy mantle on this dude instead. I think that's a little better. Oh, slowing down this guy while he's charging, very very good. Yes, being able to pierce and herm with the uh, eye of Belial seems super good. Give me all those spoders. Give me all those boaters. Okay, let's keep our distance. Whoa. What did we get hit by then? It's okay though, we got hit on our other guy. Not uh not ease out. Not our low health boy. Still though, I don't really know how we got hit. <laughs> That's something I would like to know. Uh is it worth doing this? No. <laughs> Not at all. Demonstrably no. Right. Oh my god. It's hard to see all the bullets because there's just so much going on, but it's great nonetheless. And I'm loving this character just so much. So fun. What a blast of a run this is. It just, even though this combination is nothing new, like, it, it feels new because of the sounds and visuals. It feels really new. It's great. I, that's why I love the, all the new visual changes and all the new uh, audio changes. Because they aren't new, but they sound new. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, good. Good, good. Okay, the spiders and stuff from Infestation 2 are like like huge helps as well oh it's one of these dudes i love them such cool animations on those guys some of the best it's good though they've done a really good job of making the animations better but not so like the animations are insanely good but they don't stand out too much from the base game like do you know how like if if the base game had bad animations or like not as good you'd be able to tell the difference between what was repentance and what wasn't it's not it's not like that, and I don't really know how they've managed to do that while still making them so good. Obviously, someone like me knows, but you can't really tell it's of a new era. Like, they've, they've updated the old stuff to make make it fit with all the new stuff. It's really great. What did we get there? A golden bomb? Oh, a golden heart. Okay. I'll take a golden heart. Good, good. Oh, that was close. Right. Mum's heart. Let's go. Let's go. Dodging here, by the way, is is just not possible. And sit on some of these attacks because we're just too we're too thick. But we got her. That's an unlock. Double baby. And we can go either way we want here, so we're gonna go up. Why not? Yes, we did something. We achieved something with this episode. I am so happy. <laughs> But yeah, this is kind of what you got to do. You got to build up one baby, like, so, so much. And the other one, you just got to kind of, like, keep alive. I wonder how that's going to work. Let me, um, let me get rid of my holy cross. I kind of like that. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like that. These look so good. And that was a holy mulligan there as well. Beautiful. 
Sadly, D6 is just not worth anything to us right now. You should definitely pick this up, by the way. Yeah. Oh my god, having leeches that are invincible is scary as fuck. Oh, we got hit. We, we are going to die on this floor, unfortunately, but I can't believe these guys shoot now. Crazy. Why do you keep hitting Izao? Can you just leave Izao out of it, please? The moment I take away Izao's protection, he gets hit like 15 times. Either way, that was a blast of an episode. We did really well. Uh, we managed to get at least one unlock, which is better than I was hoping for. Hope you guys enjoyed. and see you guys in the next one.